Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Darkest Dungeon. We're doing quite well, we've just started upgrading our people with the blacksmith and uh, speaking of that I was going to go in and I was going to do a couple of the others um, just to uh, increase the potential amount of damage that we're doing as we're out and about. Uh, so we're going to do Mordit, uh, Force Up we've already done, uh, he's pretty cool. Um, who else is going to be worth doing? Uh, we've done you as well. Uh, how about one of the healers? Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? We're probably not going to be smacking people around much, but this should still affect um, our offensive skills. Right. Um, we did pretty much all of our logistics at the end of the last episode, and everyone seems to be doing all right on stress other than those people who are currently um, de-stressing in the abbey if we pop on in here. Things that I would like to do, um, I'd like to carry on upgrading the blacksmith, uh, this time with the armor smithing so we can get people a little bit more defense. So once again, we need more deeds and as always, we need more crests. So we're gonna jump into the dungeon. We've done a little bit in the warrens. Um, we could carry on in the warrens actually. Uh, that'll get us two busts, which is not brilliant. Or, oh my word, a blood charm, ugh. Uh, plus to healing skills. That's pretty good, actually. That could be very useful for us. And plus to dodge. Well, we always love dodge. We could... We could pop to the cove. We'll get some crests. We might get some deeds while we're there. That seems like a good plan. Right. So we need a healer. Um... Why not? Actually, we'll do everyone that we've upgraded. So we'll do Mordit and Frossart. And uh, this team um, is actually dumped heaven and hell, but I've selected it before, so uh, it's not going to actually tell us that. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump in with the cove. It's only a short one, so we're not going to need too many things. Uh, let's get five torches, one shovel, two keys, and we need some food. Um, you know what, we'll only get six food this time. We'll try and save a little bit on money. And let's... It's been recommended to take at least eight. Alright, fine, we'll take eight just so that it doesn't complain. We might need to rest twice and we don't want people to, to become unwell. Tentacled lurkers lie in wait just below the water's surface. Tread carefully. Okay, so this is going to be our first time in the cove. Short expedition, 100% of room battles, and our team is pretty robust. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble, but uh, obviously, with caverns are teeming with any pelagic nightmares, new place. They must be flushed out. Yep, let's flush out the nightmares. With any new place, it's always a little bit uh, risky trying these things. Let's go this way first. Stressful immediately. We don't like that. Mm. Let's have a look at the eerie coral. It's abrasive and unnerving. Brilliant. So basically, it's sandpaper coral, and that weirds us out. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Oh my god! What kind of trap is that? That was like a tentacle horror. That's nasty. Twelve rounds of dodge reduction. Ah, I've actually I bought the leper rather than a healer. That's why we've not got heaven and hell. Well, that's going to be problematic. We're going to have to just make do without healing. That's the only way of it. Okay. So, what are we going to do instead? You're probably a Pelagi grouper, Pelagi shaman. Let's grab the shaman forwards. Oi. Get over here. And then we'll yorp both of these. Uh, smite, battle heal, inspire and cry, a zealous accusation. Is broken. Wow. Main Shaman down. Offensive. And you can't actually do anything from there, so let's at least get you forwards one. A little bit of stabbing over on us. Not cool. Mm, tentacle horror from hell. Man, what a mistake. Bringing the wrong people out. Ah, electric shock. Alright, well... If we're stunned, there's not much we can do. Uh, we could... Let's keep pulling them forwards. From back here. 
clear out the uh, the dead body. We're going to need to start applying healing at some point, but uh, for the moment, how much health have you got? Eleven, and this will potentially do five to nine. Man, 33% protection, that's not cool. Yeah, Inspiring Cry is not really going to cut it. This could kill, but it's... In fact, it's, a, it's average chance to kill. Didn't kill. Barnacle Barrier, that's going to be some kind of protection buff. Yeah, plus 25% protection. You still can't do anything from there. Fine, move forward with one more. Frost Art's going to become our healer. That's what we'll do. And that is not really a position we want Frost Art to be in. Okay, weird reconstruction at the front. Good heal! And we resisted the, uh, the bleeding. Stabbed through all three of them. This is only our first fight. Ah, oh, and we're bleeding as well now. Lovely. Uh, we could hew the two front. We could just chop the front. Just, just get the stab going. Right. Inspiring cry on the leper. Hey, it's a critical two healing. I mean, it's not a brilliant heal at all. I can't believe Frost Art is being our stress reduction. Weird reconstruct him. Another good one. We're bleeding. I don't care that much this time. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just kill this guy. Ah, I've resisted the bleeding. Ouch! So much pain! The end approaches. Inspiring cry. Another critical. Stress reduction. And this does help with our light as well. Just a little bit, but man, our leper is is getting properly mullered by our oh, heal for zero. Getting properly mullered. Uh so with seven hit points, maybe. We could start whittling you down as well. That that bleeding is so much and so painful. Chop him. Good. That'll buy us another couple of rounds. As long as we don't end up bleeding again. Jeez, oh, and you can only just survive that. Let's um, finish this guy off. Destroy them all. Carry on the healing on our leper. So much damage. Uh, at this point, probably chop that, eliminate that corpse, bring him forwards. Right, give me another weird reconstruction over here. Resisting more bleeding. This is such a hard fought battle. I mean, we're getting a lot of stress reduction and our light is improving as this is happening, but ah. Uh, actually, we can't hit with that. Let's let's just finish it off there. Alright, so that's three that's three more mm, rounds. So yeah. Giant oyster. Yeah, let's let's open it up. The oyster slammed shut. Nearly made us bleed. Okay, do we go back to town and do we get a proper healer? No. We'll just push on. Right, that's the bleeding done at least, but ow. Holy water, gold, and a journal page. Alright. 
I agree. Let us not linger. We'll take another torch. And I'm going to actually start using these torches to keep our light level nice and high. Because we need every advantage we can get at the moment. Alright, we've got some unholy ones who are surprised. Uh, weird reconstruction. I mean, these these are not the best Never hidden. healing bits we've got going. 15 hit points. Yeah, we could we could yawp at the two front ones and then try pulling one forwards or something. Or we can just try and get this one bleeding. 60% bleed resist. No, let's not do that. Yawp. We'll hew them both. That's good damage on the back. That's uh, extra damage. Ouch. Yeah. We need to watch out for that. That shaman is going to be a massive stress monger for us. Do we just get you healing more? I wonder if we could throw... Uh, used Purge Evil and Restore Purity can be applied to Hero to increase resistances. Okay, so that's a possibility. We'll keep the healing going. Okay, we're bleeding a little bit more. I like how the bleeding gets worse over time. I mean, I don't like it, but I like that it is... A thing that happens. Oh my god. More bleeding. We don't need that. Right, one down. Just give you a decent sized chop. More healing, more stress reduction. Can't believe we're just focusing on healing our leper. How much buffing are they doing on this guy? Okay, good resist there. I wonder if he's going to go next. Let's uh, let's clear out that corpse. We'll get that shaman forwards. Everything we can do to keep our leper alive. Uh, just kill him? Ooh, 9 to 18. That leper does loads of damage. We'll only do 4 to 8 over here because of the protection. But if we hew, it'll do 6 to 11. Yeah. Oh, I dodged. Uh, seeing as he doesn't have any... Well, he's got 25% stun resist. We'll yawp them. Get them both stunned just to waste his buffs. Don't know if that was massively worth it for the uh, for the healing, but uh, stab on through. Uh, you can just chop this guy, get him done. Yes, I made it. Get some more healing in. So we're just about staying on top of all of this. Ow! <laughs> Stop touching him! Build him up. Don't bleed. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is so bad. So bad. If we do a wicked hack on you, it'll do 4 to 7. chop you. Oh, missed him. Five damage for three rounds. That bleeding is getting so much worse. We're going to have to reconstruct him just to try and keep him alive. Six damage for three rounds. 
six damage, uh, five damage for two rounds. Okay. So we got it a bit more under control. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. You're gone. Uh, breakthrough will get us to the back a bit. The light, the promise of safety. <laughs> well, it managed to get our light level up to the max. Unexpected, but totally welcome. So that'll take us down to five health. Success so clearly. Okay, we've actually completed the quest. That is a surprise. Uh, we'll continue adventuring uh, because we're going to open this chest at least. Yes, some deeds and some crests. The brave and the foolhardy alike. Well, that is kind of what we wanted. All right. So if you're still bleeding out. Eat some food. You're completely full. Well, 23. I reckon we could probably do one more room. So let's head back. Yep, you're bleeding. We know that. My advice would be to not bleed, but at the same time, I mean, what are you going to do? People seem to dislike you enough to keep stabbing you. Fifteen health is reasonable. We are getting a fair bit of stress from this, but going in without a healer, well, uh, two half healers, but sometimes it's a bit finicky when you click on the uh, on the doors like that. What's this? Brackish tide pool. This colour looks slightly off. Um, we could cleanse items. Hmm. That had no effect. All right. Holy water. No. You know what? Don't take a drink from the pool. See, I'm trying these things to learn what does what. Uh, we need to eat food. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular. That purpose. is a, l a lot of minus dodge. All right. Are we going to get? Well, we're not going to get any more room combat. You know what? I think we're actually going to finish that there. Let's head back to town and be safe about it rather than taking even more damage from our people. Wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. So our first little venture down into the cove. We got some deeds, we got some crests. These are the two things that we actually needed. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we've also got Mordit up to level two. Mordit's picked up Deviant Tastes. He's not allowed to visit the brothel. Oh dear. And thick blooded. Uh, Papont is a tippler, will only drink. And steady, so reduced stress. Frost art. Minus two speed if you're slow. Well, that's fine. Beast hater. Okay. And burgeant. Mankind hater, which has replaced healer's gift. Probably pretty good, that one. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws. Fools. Six more recruits All than will usual. Find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay. While praying saw a glimpse of greater beings, a new quirk, God fearing, will only pray for stress relief. Well that's fair enough. Yeah, I meant to take four no out on that one. Disease cured the runs. Okay. Let's uh, let's have a look at the blacksmith. And before we uh, spend our bits and bobs on anything else, we'll do that. So armor smithing, level two. Ah, oh, gives a base dodge and more hit points. Well, that's a very good way of us spending money. Okay. Uh, well, let's upgrade Dimus because Dimus is awesome. I don't want to spend below 3,000, so 
Uh, if we're going to take Dimus and Forno out next time, who are we going to want to back them up? Almost certainly we're going to need someone right in the front. Not the bounty hunter. Let's uh, let's do Malvison. So that's three, and then probably we'll take like the shield breaker out. But we're not going to spend any money upgrading them. Uh, let's get our people doing some stress relief. So actually, you've got a disease that we need to cure, and this is why I didn't want to spend too much uh, too much money. The worries. You've got a case of the worries, which gives you extra stress. Brilliant. Um, what else? Uh, so, Abby for stress relief. Frostart can only pray. And we are getting a little bit low now. Uh, let's put Burget in somewhere cheap. Okay, I think that will do for people that we're going to be giving stress relief to. Uh, we do have a bunch of trinkets that we can sell. Um, so I think we'll do that to give us a little bit more money. Although... Plus 2% crit, plus 5% stress, minus 3% virtue chance. <laughs> so extra crit chance. Plus to dodge. Yes, please. And you know what? We'll just get Dimus's dodge up crazy high. And I think that's that's going to be awesome. Right. If we bring that down, dodge 19 is still huge. We'll give you more crit. Uh, so that plus to dodge. Uh, let's have a look at Malvison. Your dodge is 10. Your dodge is now 14. That's all right. Uh, for the Hellion, plus 15% max hit point, minus 20% stun resist. I don't like being stunned, so we're not going to use that. We will just sell it. And we'll sell the Jester's one. And I think that's probably a good point for us to finish that episode there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this uh, little foray into the cove. Obviously, not the longest uh uh, longest of episodes but at the same time given we went in with a random spattering of characters rather than my carefully pre-planned group i think we did okay uh, if you are enjoying these videos be sure to give me a thumbs up otherwise i will see you next time for some more darkest dungeon i'll see you soon